Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our City Kings 2 The Reapers Do Building Tall campaign. All right. So, um, been thinking about this a little bit. I think we're just going to go ahead and revoke this province. Take the, uh, or this, this duchy, rather. Take this opinion hit of 15 on all of the vassals. Um, and just deal with it. However, we need to get the council online first. I would lose a title. He says no. Uh, yeah, well, of course you're against it. I mean, derv. I do not want you to weaken powerful vassals. Both of you say. You have no particular interest in it either way. Um, let's see. To buy a favor would cost us, uh, too much. You would not request, or you would not honor, or you would not rather give me council support if I asked for it. Let's see. How big is your din dynasty? Dynasty? Five living members. Hmm. It would be a shame if something were to happen to these, uh, these boys in your dynasty. Dynasty. My unknown murderer yet, I wonder. Oh, we could totally kill this guy. Jarl Falky. Your, your time has come, sir. All right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, see how just dastardly we can be. Oh, 17. Yeah, all right. All right. We've, we've figured out how uh, Filker Frody here is going to play. He is most certainly a murderous bastard man guy. Speaking of murderous bastard man guys, I think we should probably uh, raid. We could bribe... Uh, Hafrid, who apparently has a significantly large amount of plot power. Are you the wife? No, you're just some random pregnant woman. Okay. Uh, you say no, but if I were to send you a gift of 15 whole ducats, you will probably join. That sounds reasonable to me, actually. And then you are... Yes, you are the wife! The wife will participate in murdering her husband. Why do you, uh, why do you dislike your husband so much? My, huh, my interests are ignored. Well, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned, right? <laughs> Let's murder him together! It'll be fantastic! And then I'll take you as my concubine. I I'm totally gonna try to remember to do this, because it'll be funny. She's 18. I approve of the plan. Let's see what happens. Well, my mission to Helsingland has so far been a success during my visit to the Court of Glass. My nephew now likes me better. Alright, that's fantastic, considering that he's a powerful vassal and he's pretty bad at everything, and I want to actually put him on the council. Uh, he was unable to discover my complicity, but we did not murder him. A chancellor suggested it would be of benefit to the realm if I study the languages spoken at foreign courts. He also offers himself to aid me in my studies. Uh, I can owe him a favor in order to get uh, plus one learning. Or I have a 40% chance of becoming shy. If they can't speak Norse, they are not important. Also potentially become proud. 40% chance of shy. Well, you know what? It's As far as I'm concerned, it's a 60% chance of two good things. So it's it's better than, you know, whatever. And yeah, we became proud. Okay, that's cool. I, we'll take it. I'm pleased to hear that after a period of peace and shrewd management, the county of Akershus is doing very well. Very well. Nice, nice. Alright, we're trying to groom an heir right now. Let's see. Do we have, uh, we have a three-year-old? On my side, uh, yeah, we just got the one baby. We we certainly need to, uh, to take on that, uh, that woman, the concubine. This wife here is not putting out much. The mere sight of class fills you with contempt. My nephew. Uh, no, I don't want to do this. He's my dynasty. Why would I want to fight him? My lord, it seems that Jarl Falky has finally decided to come out of hiding and is no longer fearful for his life. I wasn't aware that he was in hiding. Probably happened after he tried to, uh, after he almost got murdered. My co-conspirator has sent word that a carriage is traveling and will soon suffer an unfortunate accident. Let's find out. He must die. I need this province. Failure? Uh, at least the driver was killed and I did not get caught. Cool. Yay! Ooh, we can do a blute. Yes, we can still do them. Okay, I thought that they were gone for some reason. Do we have any prisoners? We have one prisoner. It's my kinswoman. I think that will make me into a, uh, a bad guy if I do that. So let's go ahead and uh, not do that. This key needs to get rebounded B. Back. Alright, we are now going to uh, poison him with wine. That's funny, I just ransomed a kinswoman instead of actually just letting her go. Girl Falky's no longer advisor! It seems, uh, he died not knowing the name of his killer. Fantabulous! Alright, we have an open council position. Um, the guy who is in charge of, uh, you is probably the... The brother? Yeah, it's the brother to the previous guy. Uh, Jarl Thorbrander. Who is, uh, also not too happy with me. Not that great. Uh, he owns the county of Nerik. Now, I still don't have support of the council because we have an empty seat. We need to appoint an advisor, someone who would like me. 
Let's see, we could put someone who's, uh, you know, somewhat uh, powerful-ish on the council. I mean, you are, well, you're the guy whose land I want to revoke, so obviously we can't do that. I think we could put, let's put Klaus on there. Sure, why not? Klaus will like me a ton, and then, because uh, right now he's at 39, that's with the negative 40 from one seat on council. So Klaus, by all means, even though I'm apparently your rival, or I, the, the sight of you, unless there's another guy named Klaus, I suppose that's possible too. Um, it angers me, that's all I can say. Council still does not support us. Kloss? Dude, Kloss. You just you don't want me to weaken powerful vassals either. You suck, Kloss. You know what? I don't I don't appreciate this at all. I can buy a favor for 80 gold, or I could just request council support. Well, let's do that. Let's see if hopefully nothing bad happens in the future. Okay, we'll take the negative 15 pinion hit. We're gonna revoke this dookie. Dookie? Ducky. Dutchie. And uh, now we have how many duchies? We've got uh, the one, the two, the three. So we got the Jarldom of Finnmark, which we don't really want. We're hoping to get a little bit more land up here before we get rid of these guys. At the very least, I suppose I could get rid of this duchy. There's really not, not much of a reason for me to hold on to it. We've got the Jarldom of Finnmark. Uh, let's give it to the guy who's the du jour, like, holder of some of the territory. Uh, my bastard cousin man. Who, uh... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and give him that duchy, assuming that the council will approve. They say no, because apparently, yes, we just lost the spymaster. Okay, fair enough. My kinswoman or my Jarl of Smaland. Well, the only thing he doesn't like is that he wants a seat on the council. He's got no claims to me, so I'm, I'm okay with this, even though you're not that great. And you are going to down here and study technology, because that's what we always do. And, uh, we're still kind of hurting for money, so let's go ahead and collect taxes for a little bit longer. Okay, do we have, uh, council support now, sirs? Atlanta province, the Jarldom of Finnmark, still no. Even though I have two favors, no one seems to want to do anything. Targeted character's domain is four or larger. Or, I do not want to grant land to your dynasty. He's a bastard, for crying out loud. Wow. A four-year-old genius we could betray them to. That sounds good to me. There's the response. And now we have a new heir again, the weak guy. Alright, so hold on. Were we, uh... Okay, we actually have three duchies now. Get the Autumn of Finnmark. The Autumn of Vestergotland, our actual proper duchy, and then the titular one. Okay, so the titular one doesn't count. Yeah. I don't actually want this one. And now that you have this land, and it is outside of our digital borders, we're just going to get rid of you, I think. You've got all the land out there. How big's your dynasty? 11 people? Yeah, you can just go. I, I just don't want you here anymore. Go away. Alzheimer. It's gone. Good. Alright, so now we just need to take over islands. It's the one province right here. We have a truce until 63. So three more years, then we can clean up that border. And that's it. We're there. That's the last one we need. This is what we actually have. We gotta get rid of these two as well. This is what we actually have, and uh, this is what we're supposed to have. So we just need to take that one thing, and we're good to go! Awesome. Okay, uh, can, can, please, can I please get rid of some of the land, stupid council? We seriously need to bribe, like, just one more of these damn people? Gosh. These, these people are just not very nice. Looks like we can't do it just yet. Well, I'm gonna have to get rid of that at some point. Um, this other duchy then in here. The Vestergotland. We've got uh, some very low opinion here. Revoked my title, negative 60. 
Uh, you're probably the guy... Yeah, you're the guy who used to be there. So let's bury you underneath this guy instead. Um, assuming it's going to let me. Orvar must not be imprisoned. He is imprisoned by Thorbrander of Narik. Ah, this guy. Well then. Alright, now he is free. Very well. Council supports this move. Fantastic. Alright, so now you are deeply buried underneath there. You've got 62 opinion with us. Uh, you're still considered to be a powerful guy, and you're not in the council, so you don't like that. You are 13 versus uh, this Jarl of Schmaland. Uh, he's considered to be a powerful vassal, though, as well. Problem is that I've got four positions from people who are not actually considered to be strong. Kinda stinks when, when all the powerful vassals are just so bad at everything. Alright, so you've got 12 and 12. And then you've got 13. I guess we could make you Spymaster, but if we do that, then the Spymaster's gotta go somewhere else. The Spymaster is not really good at anything. The advisor, right now, is Klaas, who's also not very good at anything. Ugh. It's kind of ugly, isn't it? Somebody just adopted feudalism. Cool. Jarl Buter. He's just successfully adopted feudalism, and he's got uh, some cities now. He's a holder of the wrong type. Now he's creating his, his uh, sub-vassals, which is good. He apparently didn't get anything here, and he only got one sub-holding. It's interesting, we got two. Of course, we didn't get any here. I guess it must be related to the number of provinces below you. Below the county level. Alright, so we attack this guy, and beyond that, we raid, we build. We get rid of this land up here. I'm just kind of irritated that I can't get rid of this. I just want you to go away. These guys don't want me to do it, and then you're swayed by the diplomacy rating of other voters. And my cousin Face desires this title. Well, guess what, Marshal Man? You're no longer Marshal then, you bastard. We'll make this guy... He's actually the same, same ability level as well. Let's do that, and then now maybe we can actually make it happen. Or still probably desire it too. It'll be like, oh, I desire it. It's mine. I want it. All right. Nope. This guy's uh, a zealot. My family member would gain a title. He's my cousin. He's all for it. Excellent. Good. Totally intended to do that. Uh, and then before we go, let's also transfer vassalage of the Count of Kemi to him as well. And now uh, you may be free. Goodbye. And then let's, uh... Is a close relative or have a non-aggression pact? Form a non-aggression pact. Where's the non-aggression pact? Huh. There's none available. I mean, he is independent. That's right. Okay, so because he's not a close relative... And we have no marriage to him. He's, he's technically of my, dy my dynasty, but he's a bastard, so... I can't just do the defensive pack because I want to. I actually have to have a, a marriage tie to him. Which is kind of weird, actually. Anyway, uh, we need new marshal again. Um, I guess we'll go with one of you derps. Not the mayor, though. Who cares about this mayor? He's a, he's a lobby. A lobby! That's right. We'll go with this guy. You're pretty bad at this, but... Uh, I guess we really don't have very many options here, do we? Half the time he seems to forget which side is the sharp one. Should I laugh or should I cry at his incompetence with the sword? Now he seems to think I could teach him all I know. Uh, you are my friend. Okay. Fair enough. I can try. I, I will try. Try to teach you how to use a sword. We do have a little bit of money. I definitely want to try to, uh, to start building up the, uh, the hospital. 
I want to build a sick house in the capital and kind of do that kind of stuff. But I think before we do that, we should make sure that we've at least got all like the income structures in every province we can. Castle towns. Castle town level ones are the first one. 177. Yeah, it's 177 everywhere. So here we've already got level, level two. Yeah, we're going to start knocking these things out. And then once we have all of the basic income structures, then I will consider doing it other things. It hey, levies at full. I see no reason not to go raiding right now. Let us go raiding. You wish to marry. We propose that Suni and Svan Hildur, the shield maiden, marry. Um, no. No. She's mine. A concubine. Can I sleep with my kinswoman? I mean, it's just appropriate, right? You, you gotta sleep with the kinswoman. I would gain 75 prestige for taking concubine as noble as her. Yes. It's not incestuous at all. It, what? In, incest, incestuous. She's no longer a shield maiden. What? No, she still is. It just doesn't say... Alright. I guess the, the title, the shield maiden, was what I saw a second ago. Fine, yes, you may have that one. Okay. All right, here's our levy. We got the multiple people spread out over uh, multiple camps. We do have enough boats. And I guess we're off to raid uh, whoever we can find some money from. I mean, we could, you know what? Let's go down to Byzantium. We haven't gone down to Byzantium in a while. And uh, I think that that would be fun. So let's go ahead down there and bug the, the Byzantines a bit. Denmark. Denmark is pretty strong. Uh, how's our guy doing over here? My uncle appears to have lost territory. He has got a weak claim on my kingdom. He's also got a weak claim on Akershus and a strong claim on Middlesex. So yes, he lost he lost some land down here. Are we like somehow not tied to you again? I don't think that we were properly allied. Hmm. And he's currently in a war right now. So he's losing. He's got two separate holy wars. Dude, you're getting your butt kicked. Your, your, your our dynasty is getting forced out of England right now. He's got two troops. What are the issues? He's fighting so many people. So this guy. Look at that, he even owns the, owns the subholdings here. He already has them. Weird. He's only got 2,000 troops, so I could like try to help him, but I, I don't know. He knows that the alliance is a little bit more permanent. Well, let's just focus on raiding, because, you know, we're Vikings. That's what we do. Ooh, it's a zero. It's a one out of two hundred and fifty levy. <laughs> Would be a shame if something were to happen to it. It's just all land there. In fact, let's go kill this uh, army of Count Alexios. Is this? Uh, let's see. Heavy infantry, heavy cav. That's gotta be a special troops, right? Reinforcing twenty-five soldiers a month. Nice. We killed the heavy cav. No losses, naturally. Okay. Um. You know what, let's just keep the raiding party all together, and uh, let's let's try to burn down Constantinople. Sounds fun to me. Alright, our marshal's scores are not good enough, I think. We've got, um... You're the Godi of Uppsala. Seer. Alright, we should resign you. My shield maiden is a... The leader. Yeah, we'll take face. Should probably wait till we have full morale, yeah? But I definitely want to try to ca kill his, uh, whatchamacallums, the, uh, retinue, before he can actually make them any better or stronger. 
Your class has created the Gyardom of Hul Hulsing Land. Alright, cool. About damn time. And uh, you are my nephew. And you only have 10 opinion of me. Row of Castle Titles, yes. Wants a seat on the council. Well, it's too bad. You suck at everything, man. Not my fault. Alright, Constantinople can easily be burned down here. It's only got like 1,700 troops. We got 4,000 here. But uh, we don't really get anything from this except we get to just, you know, bug him. Ooh, focus on flat train expert. Nice. And uh, hey, there's the Basilius hanging out with his retinue. <laughs> Murder him. Get him. And he's got a levy that he's raised here, which is actually really good, because that means he's depleted the garrison. Taking the garrison size down to just 760 altogether. Your marshal has put forward a plan for experimentation, experimentation with new military technology inspired by a supposedly brilliant inventor and engineer that has recently been befriended. Yeah, sure, let's give it a shot. See what happens. Nothing bad, I'm sure. That is the uh, majority. It's still retinue. Flank both sides here. Comes with some reinforcements on the 19th. I think he's going to turn around because he's probably not going to make it in time. Oh, nope. He did make it in time. We just get to beat up on him for a bit. So we only lost 100 men. We killed 1,100. Not bad at all. Uh, we can continue to pursue this army or just park our little butts on this uh, Constantinople siege. I think we'll pursue it one more time. Just keep on trying to whittle down that retinue. Or he can have any chance to use it against us. And we've caught a bishop. Awesome. Alright, there's still quite a lot of uh, troops in there. 885 out of 4,385. Um, kind of concerned that it could reinforce. Yeah, let's keep on beating up some armies. My wife is now pregnant. Oh, right, we had uh, successfully murdered that. Oh, she's betrothed. To a young woman, young man. Uh, take concubine? Can I just take her anyway? Damn it! Well, fine, woman. I guess we don't get to elope. Whatever. Alright. Well, I'm gonna take a break here. In the next episode, we're gonna siege down Constantinople, see if we can capture the Basilius, and take his hat. Alright. See you again next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.